video, you will be understanding about what is DHCP. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. When you have a network in place, there is a need that you control how these computers that are going to be assigned to this network are going to get various configuration information. To begin with, when I add a computer to the network, what is the IP address it is going to get? Number two, so let me put that first. So IP addresses and number two, what is the DNS server in the network? Now there are two ways in doing it. One is we can either manually assign an IP address to these computers and manually configure the DNS for each of these computers as to which is the DNS server. Maybe you already have a DNS server in this network which you have set up and this DNS server should have entries about the IP addresses and host names for these computers. If you have to do all this manually, obviously it is a big task. The easier way to do it is automated. So there's a lot of automation that has happened in everything, including networking. So what you do is you use DHCP in the network so that when a computer joins a network, it will automatically get an IP address associated with this computer based on what is currently available as a free IP address in the network. So let's say I have three computers which have joined and they've got IP1, IP2 and IP3, three IP addresses. And when I land up adding a fourth computer to this network, it should not get the same IP address that is already assigned. It should get, for example, IP address four, which should be unique. Now this task can be done by the DHCP server. So you can have a DHCP server which would be configured within your network. And whenever a computer joins the network, it will look up and get an IP address that is currently available and get it. Not only that, now when these computers have to reach each other using host names, we already looked at what is a DNS in our previous video. Now, if there is a DNS server that you are maintaining, every computer should also be told or configured with which is this network's DNS server, which can be automated by giving DHCP options. So if you have configured a network with DHCP options, it takes care at a minimal these two, but there could be other things that it can do. So identifying what is the IP address to a computer and configure each computer in the network to identify which is the DNS that you are managing can be automated using these DHCP options. Now, if one of these computers goes away from the network, let's say you logged in with your laptop in your office network and then you logged out and plugged out your cable and you went home. Now, some other computer can join the same network and this computer can be assigned the same IP address again, even though it is not the same. So if you want to assign IP2 to this computer, you can do that. So these are some of the options that you get. And if you have multiple DNS servers, which is replicating DNS across multiple servers is implemented, then the DHCP can ensure computers are aware of the multiple DNS servers inside your network. That's the idea behind DHCP options that you might have in a network.